today we found sort of like a hidden gem of Paris. Uh, this is called the Louvre. We are the Travel FOMO Podcast, and we have some do's and don'ts of international travel. Do your research. Find out about the places that you're going to go, what you want to do, what you want to see. Be prepared to spend the money or take the time or know when things are open. Just do a lot of research before you'll go. It'll always pay off. Pack light. That's really helpful whenever you are traveling Europe and you might be riding trains a lot and walking along cobblestone streets on a regular basis and climbing a lot of stairs. We love to actually use backpacks because then we're not rolling any kind of roller suitcase or anything like that. Dress more formal. Europeans just dress up more than Americans do. And when you're over there, even though you might feel comfy in your comfy pants, you won't be comfortable because you'll be way underdressed. Try the local things. Go to all the local dives, eat the local food, drink the local drinks, whatever it is that they are used to doing, they are really good at it, so you should try it out. Leave room in your suitcase and room in your budget. You're going to come across some stuff over there that you're going to want to take home with you. And if you've got a little space in your suitcase and a little extra money in your wallet, you'll be glad to take that little souvenir back home so you can always remember that trip. That was the one I added to the list. Yeah, the budget part. Get outside the cities. We really regret that we didn't do this in Ireland and we only went to Dublin and Belfast and we think we would have really enjoyed Ireland more if we had gone out into the country and seen some of the really amazing stuff out there. The countryside is so beautiful everywhere you go and you can also find little villages and those are some of my favorite memories are the small little places that we went to. Learn a language. We did a lot of learning through Duolingo before we went and it really helped us. Were we fluent in another language? No, but we knew enough to kind of help us be familiar and get around just a little bit. You'd be surprised how much a little bit will go a long ways when you're over there. Don't bring a roller suitcase. <laughs> We feel pretty emphatic about this one. If you are not traveling like Beyonce with your own private jet and stuff like that, then you are probably going to have to carry your luggage a lot. So consider that when you decide what kind of suitcase you're going to use. Don't expect to have your mother's cooking. Here's what we mean by that. If you have a favorite food that you love here in America and you order it over there in Europe, it's not going to taste the same. You're not going to like it. It's going to be different. Your mom doesn't live over there and she's not making her famous spaghetti. So instead, try whatever the local food is. Even if you don't know if you'll like it, chances are you might. And even if you didn't, you'll always have that memory. Do not waste your time or waste your trip by not being ready. Do your research. Save that money so that this trip can be exactly what you intended for it to be. It takes a little effort on the front end, but it is so worth it in the long run. Don't waste a minute. When you get over there, you will have traveled a really long ways. You're going to be really tired and all kinds of jet lagged. You're going to want to sit in your room and not do anything. But don't let that evening go. Don't let that afternoon be wasted. You went over there for a reason. There's so much cool stuff to see, so many cool people to meet, and so much cool stuff to do. Don't waste it sitting in your room. You can hear all about the do's and don'ts of international travel on our latest Travel FOMO podcast. Life is short. Wonder well.